Hello everyone, this is the weekly review for AP World History from April 26th to April 30th as we continued working on Unit 9 on globalization and began preparing for the AP exam. On Monday, April 26th, we reviewed the assignment Economics in the Global Age. We explained the continuities and changes in the global economy from 1900 to the present. Examples of continuities included things such as markets and manufacturing, which stayed consistent. And changes were things like the advent of the knowledge economy and international trade regulation, as well as free market economies and multinational corporations. We also talked about calls for reform and responses after 1900. We explained how social categories, roles, and practices have been maintained and challenged over time. <clears throat> Rights-based discourses challenged old assumptions about race, class, gender, and religion. In much of the world, access to education as well as participation in new political and professional roles became more inclusive in terms of race, class, gender, and religion. And movements throughout the world protested the inequality of the environmental and economic consequences of global integration. Our first practice session for uh, the AP exam was a 10 question multiple choice uh, practice exam. Students were given 20 minutes to complete the 10 questions. Our four class focus continued to be integrity. Or it was a, the new four class focus uh, that we began after vacation. This is the second time we focused on this skill. It is essentially academic honesty. We also talked about globalized culture after 1900 and students were asked to explain how and why globalization changed culture over time. We discussed political, social, and artistic changes that have occurred. And we also discussed and reviewed how global culture has influenced film, music, sports, and religion. Examples of political and economic collaboration were also talked about, such as the European Union and the North American Free Trade Agreement. Then we worked on short answer question practice on Tuesday. We practiced three separate short answer questions that dealt with uh, cultural exchange between nomads and no non-nomads, ethnic divisions affecting land-based and maritime empires, and agricultural developments and the Green Revolution. Our next section of Unit 9 was resistance to globalization after 1900. Students were asked to explain how environmental factors affected human populations over time. The focus was primarily on diseases diseases associated with poverty, emergent epidemic diseases, and diseases associated with increased longevity that was occurring at the tail end of the 20th century. We reviewed their effects on, of all of them on the human population. Then we talked about technological advances and debates about the environment after 1900. Students were asked to explain the causes and effects of environmental changes in this period uh, from 1900 to the present. We discussed some causes of environmental changes, such as urbanization, globalization, and industrialization. And we also reviewed terms such as carbon footprint, Paris Agreement, and Anthropocene. Anthropocene meaning that uh, epic or age that began with the advent of man having impact on the planet. Then we did free response questions on Thursday and Friday. We did a long essay question prep on Thursday and a DBQ question prep on Friday. What's next? As we continue uh, examining 1900 to the present, we'll continue Unit 9 on globalization. We'll have a take-home version of the Unit 9 exam coming up. We'll continue working on preparing for the AP exam. And our new executive functioning skill, we will continue with integrity. That's it for now. Take care.